All right, what is going on, guys? Baller TV back, and today we are back on NBA 2K20, taking on the challenge of rebuilding a somewhat poverty franchise, the New York Knicks. So the Knicks, while they have struck out on Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, um, many of their top tar actually basically every top target they've had for the past, you know, since Melo, um, they have been making some decent under the radar moves. So. Mr. Robinson was a great pickup, and I believe the second round, I might, yeah, second round, that was an amazing draft pick there. Julius Randle, I don't mind this contract only being two years, helps attract people just to improve the talent a bit. Alfred Payton, again, on a one-year deal, I believe, with an option, not a bad contract. Then Taj Gibson, I didn't really get this one, but whatever. Bobby Portis, decent, he's got some, you know, potential. R.J. Barrett at three, I believe, was definitely the right pick here. They really, I think, especially at the time being, because R.J. Barrett before this season was projected to be the number one overall pick until Zion blew up. R.J. was definitely the right uh, right pick here, and I think they really nailed it on the head there. A Trier was a good undrafted signing. Frank Nitekilia, uh, he really was kind of a bust, or he has been so far anyway. And then, uh, yeah, Kevin Knox, the second, uh, he has been kind of a bust as well. But I'm going to try to unlock some of that potential. And then same with Dennis Smith Jr. So they've been signing some young guys, the bigger contracts, to get them, um, you know, just some potential and youth on their teams and talent. So people I want on this team for the majority of the video, RJ for sure, Mitchell Robinson most likely, especially since he's on a pretty solid contract. Three years, making less than $2 million, beating 83 overall. Rim protector, can't complain there. Other than that, maybe Trier as a nice scorer off the bench. Maybe um, Knox and Smith Jr. We will see. I might G League um, both of these guys, maybe. I actually might do that. We will see. Might give them regular minutes too. I'm not sure. So we did. I did these start today. So we are. Um, I can't find the calendar. Here we go. We are in March 11th past the deadline already. So no moves. This will not be year one. The next uh, year will be the start of year number one. So hopefully we can lose a lot of games, get a good draft pick, get a solid player like maybe Lamelo because he's been rumored to go to the Knicks in real life, and then we will go from there. Okay, so we were supposed to have the um, second pick in the draft, but then the lottery really New York nicked us and moved us down to six. So I'm trying to get the first pick here because I do want LaMelo Ball really badly, and he is um, number one in most mock drafts, and he's the highest rated prospect. So I feel like if the uh, Suns had a chance to take him, they would because they need a point guard pretty badly and he's a good playmaker. So I'm trying to see if there's something I can do to trade up here. I don't want to give up the 27th pick. Okay, there we go. So we just cleared up uh, Randall's contract. We traded away Randall and Nitekilia, who I don't think were big pieces of our future, and then our first-round pick as well. But now we have number one, so we can get LaMelo, and we still have 27 as well. All right, right here I'm trying to trade 27, and um, Ignaz, never really learned how to say his last name. I watched a lot of Big Ten basketball. He's a Michigan product. I still never figured out how to say his name. But I'm trying to trade these two assets for the 20th pick, and sure enough, that works. So we have 1 and 20. I'm going to hop into the draft right now and get our guys. Okay, so obviously we took LaMelo number one overall. And then I went ahead and took Jaden McDaniels at 20. There's a few better guys in him, but I wanted to add another forward prospect to this team. I feel like he could be the long-term backup small forward on a cheap contract. So that was my thought process with both of those guys. Now we're hopping into free agency where hopefully we can make some big signings because this team is looking pretty rough right now. Okay, well, somehow we pulled off getting Anthony Davis again. I do believe that is the second time we've done that. I think we got him back in New Orleans in the first video as well. Then I thought about going after DeRozan, but I was like, we have no shooting at all. And Furkan Korkmaz is a beast from threes. So I definitely wanted to add him. Then another power forward as well and Jeremy Grant. So now I need another center. And then this team is definitely a playoff team. All right, here is a look at the team for the start of year number one. We got Mellow Ball running to the point, RJ running to the two. We're going to go ahead and start Kevin Knox. He has an A potential, so I really feel like if he can start hitting it this year, he could be a big piece of this team. AD is obviously the power forward, and then Mitch is the center. Off the bench, Jeremy Grant. Then we have Nerlens Noel, Furkan Korkmaz, Byron Forbes, and then Dennis Smith Jr. is still getting some minutes at the end of the bench. And then I went ahead and G-leaked uh, Maker Maker, who I actually, yeah, I went ahead and signed. I forgot to tell you guys that. 
And I also am G-leaguing um, Jaden McDaniels as well. I want to get him up to a higher overall quickly, and he will not play this year. So pretty simple stuff. This team is not as good as I actually thought we were going to be when I was excited about the offseason, but we're still not bad. I could definitely see us getting in the playoffs as a 6 or a 7 or maybe even an 8 seed. We have a lot of talent. We're just not very developed yet. So I'm going to hop into the first season, guys. If I make any big trades, I will show you. But if not, I will see you at the end of year number one. Okay, right here, I'm trying to trade away Dennis Smith Jr. because he wants $20 million after this season. At 75 overall, I just don't feel comfortable giving him that to get 10 minutes a game. So I'm hoping this will go through. Okay, it's not. It needs, like, what, one more first-round pick. Well, let's push it over. The, wow, they are just being sticklers right now. Okay, what if I give you this second-round pick and this second-round pick and this second-round pick and... This second round pick. Okay, there we go. After literally leveraging every second round pick we have, we now have three first round picks in this draft, and we just saved ourselves losing Dennis Smith Jr. for nothing after this season. Okay, so to end year one, Giannis wins MVP like usual. LaMelo Ball, our very own, averages a double-double and wins Rookie of the Year with some very impressive numbers. Very excited for his future. Mo Bamba, sixth man behind Vucevic, I'm assuming. Kawhi's Defensive Player of the Year. Jaws most improved, and Rick Carlisle wins coach of the year. So we um, went 43 and 39, but we were really under that uh, 500 mark for a while as Anthony Davis makes all NBA third team. Our biggest problem this year was that we just could not get chemistry as there's Anthony Davis again uh, built up. There's LaMelo Ball, and that should be everybody. But we just could not get chemistry um built up this is our first time really past 70 uh all season i believe we just really struggled to keep this team's morale high i don't know what the deal was after we traded away um dennis smith jr we did take a big skyrocket in the chemistry regards and it helped our record a lot as well i don't remember what it was with that trade but it wasn't good and it is 43 and 30 not about where i expected now so i said a seven seed we're a seven seed so we're taking on these sixers um, I know they still have Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid. Who else do they have? They got DeRozan. So this team really has no shooting in. This is their starting five right here. They have one guy with an A-3. minus Embiid's their second best three-point shooter. That is tough to see. And we took uh, Cork Moss from them. But this team is still a very solid defensive team, though. They have a lot of very good defensive players so it's gonna be a low scoring series if anthony davis balls out we'll win if he doesn't we will probably lose so game one goes to them i forgot how slow this is game two goes to us we keep it tied game three goes to them game four goes to us game five goes to them that's a big win and we lose in six no big deal there i'm very happy with our late push in year number one we have a good foundation laid out now all we need to do is just add some pieces. I want to improve the starting small forward for sure in the offseason. If we can land another superstar, of course, I'm going to. And then we just want to keep loading up the bench and hitting on our draft picks. So we have, I think, two or we have three first rounders now. Um, we should have the Thunders first round pick, the Wizards, and then I can't remember the third one. Maybe the Clippers. I'm not sure. But regardless, a pretty successful season as the Bucks go back-to-back -back winning two championships in a row. And Giannis on 41 points and 17.5 rebounds wins finals MVP. Okay, guys, I'm trying to trade up from nine, which is actually that uh, Wizards pick that we got for Dennis Smith Jr. So that was definitely a good trade. I'm trying to get four here because there's a good small forward who is projected to be at the fourth pick. And there we go. Trade of the way about... 17 million in cap space to get the fourth pick. So that's going to be a really solid trade for us. And we should still have, yeah, 13 and 18. So I might package these two to try to move up. If I do that, you won't see it. But if not, I will see you guys with all three players that we are selecting. Okay, so our guy, Jonathan Kaminga, fell right into our lap. I apologize if that's not how you say his name. I did my best. The best um, overall in this draft. And he is definitely the best small forward. So... Very happy to get him at four here. And now we have nine. I'm not sure I'm going to go with that nine. Probably just the best talent available because we don't have any immediate needs. Okay, so at nine, I've decided to go with Brandon Boston Jr. He is an overall less than Keon Johnson, but he does have a potential where Johnson only has a minus. So that will save me some time in the training camps. 
I figured since we just traded away Forbes, add another shooting guard would be nice. And he has some very good scoring abilities as well. He's a really good uh, two-way player, it seems. So I feel like this is going to be a very key pickup for us later on when he's in a cheap contract and dominating off the bench. Okay, guys. So I have my, my uh, eyes set on somebody in free agency. So Knox and Noel both have to go along with Grant to get him. And I also have three small forwards. And I have Maker Maker to be the backup center if necessary. And lastly, Killian Hayes would fill my need for backup point guard. And also on top of that, this first round pick is good value as well. So this trade was really just a win, 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 win. I need to make this trade. And hopefully I can make another big trade, clear up enough cap space, and bring in another superstar to New York. Okay, guys, I think this trade is going to go through, and it does. So now we have some max contract money. There's two guys I want. One, I really want a lot, but he might be unrealistic. And number two is a very solid backup plan if number one falls through. So I am going to go after these guys now, and hopefully we can land one of them. Okay, guys, right here, trading away Jade McDaniels for P.J. Washington. I know that seems like I'm losing this trade, but I did get one of the two guys I wanted to in free agency, and they were a small forward. I need a backup big because I traded away all my backup bigs, so this would be a good place to start. All right, guys, here is the rotation for the start of year number two. As you can tell, our upgrade at small forward and our second superstar was Paul George. I wanted Kawhi Leonard, and I was very close. I was second on his offer list, but we end up getting Paul George instead, which is nothing to complain about. I am very happy we have Paul George. But Kawhi Leonard would have put this team over the top for sure. So, um, yeah, our backcourt is nice, you know, very solid, young. Our front court is more proven and more talented, but these two are up and coming for sure. Um, these are a lot of Nick moves I feel like they would do in real life. Lamella Ball, I think this might be who they draft. He's very New York ready, in my opinion. Uh, Paul George is our superstar they go after. Anthony Davis, they've been public about wanting him before. And then, uh, yeah, Mitchell Robinson just happens to be on the team still. So the bench. We have P.J., Killian Hayes, Jonathan Kuminga, um, Brandon Boston Jr., and Jordan Bell. So these four are all very young, and I'm very excited about that because their contracts are very cheap, which allows us to afford everyone. So very solid there. And then Jordan Bell is running the five off the bench. Other than that, though, we don't have anybody special, just, um, you know, some fill-in guys. So this team, I think, will hit about 50, 52 wins this year, get maybe a three or a four seed. I don't think we're winning it this year. I think we just have too many guys like Melo, RJ, um, uh, Killian Hayes, Kaminga, guys like that who just need another year to develop. And once those guys do develop for another year, I think we will be a championship caliber team. But for now, I see us being a fringe championship team, just getting in on the three or four and getting beat maybe second or third round. So I'm going to hop into year two, guys. Enough rambling, and I will see you at the end bearing any crazy trades. So at the end of year number two, Giannis wins MVP again. I believe he won it last year. Jalen Johnson is the Rookie of the Year. Cole Anthony, six-man. Kawhi Leonard, Defensive Player of the Year. Patrick Williams is Most Improved. And Monty Williams is Coach of the Year. So we finished 60-22, and 22, which is a much better. Ten uh, games better than I expected us to finish. Uh, Anthony Davis makes third team there. Do we have anybody else? There is again on all defensive second team. Any rookies? Um, no, we do not have any rookies. Okay, so we had a very good season, but our chemistry, again, has sucked so bad all year long, and I really think that it's Mitchell Robinson. Like, he, usually right now, he is a 90, I mean, he's a 90 with a plus one, but usually he's like an 88 with a minus three. He's always in a bad morale, but we got in a hot streak to end the year, so hopefully that will just um, fix things. So, round one, we're taking on the Boston Celtics. They probably have Tatum, yeah, Kimba, Jalen Brown still, Marcus Smart. Very guard-heavy team. Uh, Gordon Hayward, Robert Williams. So they don't have a big. Um, Jason Tatum is their starting power forward. Anthony Davis should dominate him down low. And then this is the rest of their team. They could have done better, man. They definitely could have done better with all of the assets they had. 
But I'm not talking too much crap because you never know in 2K. You can lose at any given time. So they take game one. Like I said, this this stuff happens. We take game two. Game three goes to the end. If we lose in the first round, and that just shows you how bad of a game. This just shows you how bad of a game 2K is if we lose this series. 3-3, three, three, and we come back after being down 3-1. We're taking on the Atlanta Hawks. Now, I was really pretty convinced we were going to lose that series for a second. Trey Young. Clint Capella, John Collins. Wow, this is a solid starting five for sure out of a five-seed team. And then here is the rest of the bench. That is a solid team for sure. I am a little intimidated by this Atlanta Hawks team. Here we go. Game one goes to them. Okay, game two goes to them. Game three goes to us. Game four goes to us. Game five goes to us. Game six goes to them. <laughs> what? We lo Who's going to guard Anthony Davis? Who is going to go to Anthony Davis on that team, bro? You've got to be kidding me. Okay, well, 2K gets the best of us again. This Hawks team is nowhere near good enough to be in the finals. The Mavericks should sweep these guys. Bro, there's no way this Hawks team... Okay, the Mavs win the finals, and Luka's your finals MVP. Okay, so generally, Paul George regresses heavily after this season. So I'm trying to snag Tatum for him. I don't think it's going to work, but I am throwing in all of the cards right now. And I will throw in, um, let's see here, anybody with trade value down here? Jordan Bell, if you want him. Okay, so they don't want uh, to give up Jason Tatum, which is totally understandable. So instead, I'm going to go ahead and take Brandon Ingram for Paul George. Ingram averaged 24 a game last year. Six rebounds, four steals, and he shot pretty well. Also, Paul George averaged 17, 5, and 5, and he shot much worse than Ingram. I know Ingram was a higher usage, but still, he's going to be way better than Paul George next year. So this trade really is a no-brainer to me. Okay, I think this pick is going, or this trade is going to get us the first pick. So all those trades we made prior getting picks and stuff that I've been doing kind of off-camera amounted to be a lot. I have the... Um, Third pick, sixth pick, and then the 16th pick. I'm trying to keep six, trading one and 16 in my first round or next year for one, and that will get us one. So now we have one and six, so we can add two very solid players to the team next year for like $10 million. Okay, it's my first pick. I'm taking Chet Holmgren. Uh, he is the best player available. The worst position on my team is my backup center. And he might end up being the starting center with the way things are going with Mitchell Robinson. He is a beast for sure, and he is guaranteed to see a lot of minutes next season. Okay, so I know you can't see this, but I did just get Jason Tatum. The best player available on the board was a small forward, and I was like, I don't need three small forwards on the team. So I packaged Ingram, the sixth pick, and like four first-rounders and Jordan Bell. I didn't think it was going to go through because I got denied very quickly every time before I threw Jordan Bell in. But for whatever reason, he pushed him over the edge. So Jason Tatum will be our starting small forward for next season. All right, guys. Here is the rotation for the third and final season. Point guard, LaMelo. Shooting guard, RJ. Small forward, Jason Tatum. Power forward, Anthony Davis. And center, Mitchell Robinson. This power or this starting five is elite, man. We are tough at the starting five. Then the bench, I also love with PJ, Kuminga, Killian Hayes, Brandon Boston, and then our first overall picks only getting 10 minutes. That's just insane to really say out loud. And he's a beast, too. And then this is the rest of the team. So, guys, this team's tough. This team should be a contender for sure. If they're not, 2K is on some BS. That being said, let's hop into your number three. Okay, so Giannis wants MVP once again. I have a feeling if we ever get to that Bucks rebuild, it's going to be very easy. Amani Bates wins Rookie of the Year. I kind of saw that one coming. Yusuf Nurkic wins sixth man behind. I'm not sure who he's behind. Rudy Gobert, Defensive Player of the Year. And Caleb Vlub is most improved. And then our coach wins Coach of the Year as we go 64 and 18. Uh, I don't think we'll have a lot of people on these teams because I feel like our stats will be very distributed uh, throughout the entire team. Uh, Anthony Davis makes All-NBA third team as a 99 overall. That is very impressive. And All-Defensive first team. And then that is probably going to be the only people we have getting any awards. And sure enough, it is. So we are the one seed once again. But that does not mean anything, obviously, as you guys can tell from last season. So... 
Here is the rotation, and man, it is fire. Come on, dude. My boy Chet is just not getting it done. I got a first-round pick, or the first overall pick for him. So taking on the Celtics again this year, just like last year, they still have Kimba, Jalen Brown. Obviously, they have Ingram now because I took away Tatum from them. And then here is the rest of the team. This could be a potential uh, first-round upset. I'm hoping it's not, but it could be. Game 1 goes to us. Game two goes to us. Game three goes to them. Game four goes to us. And uh, they get game five. And we get game six. We win in six. And we are taking on the Chicago Bulls in the second round. The Bulls have Anthony Edwards, who is a beast for sure. Laurie Markkinen's a beast. Cade Cunningham. I'm not really sure who that is, honestly. What college did he go to? Oklahoma State. I am not sure who that is. Kobe White is a solid player. Luke Kennard, solid three-point shooter. Otto Porter still. Harry Giles still. Um, or I guess not still. They have Harry Giles. Tony Bradley. Uh, Nazir Little. This team has some very solid talent for sure. I feel like the Celtics were better than this team. But this team, Anthony Edwards, is still very solid. So game one goes to them, of course. Game two goes to us, though. We get game three as well. And game four can we win in five? And we do win in five, taking on the Cleveland Cavaliers in the conference championship. They have Drummond still, Sexton, Kevin Love. I'm not sure who this kid is. Darius Garland still. Dante DaVincio, Kevin Porter Jr., TJ McConnell. They have a lot of the players they have in real life still on this team. So this team just developed well for them in this uh, particular season, I guess. So that it hats off to them for getting that done. Can we get to the finals? We win game one, game two, game three. They go get, they get game four, but we win in five. So we are now taking on the Phoenix Suns with D-Book, I'm sure. Aiden, I'm sure, still. Uh, they have Wiseman as well. Damn. Wiseman and Aiden both, it's tough. Markel Fultz, 88 overall, is a very solid pairing with Devin Booker. Uh, they have Julius Randle, Marquise Bolden, or Bolden, excuse me. Okoye, um, okay, yeah, this is a solid team. This this team can definitely play some ball. So here we go. Can we get them? We get game one and game two. They get game three and game four. We get five. We win in six. Let's go. So we've won championships in three straight videos on 2K. And we won one in Madden last video. Lamella Ball is your finals MVP. Let's go, man. This team was amazing. All right, guys, so that is going to be it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you are enjoying the 2K rebuilds and the story rebuilds as a whole, please like and subscribe. I do appreciate the support. I'm trying to get daily uploads out for as long as I can. I just finished finals today, but my internship is about less than 20 days away. So I'm trying to get as many videos out in that span as I can. This team was a lot of fun to build. We have a lot of very solid players. 1 through 10, it is as solid as any team I have built. With 390s already, these guys are still improving, and then these two are well on their way to being 90 pluses. This team was very tough. Um, the next 2K rebuild coming out will be the Los Angeles Lakers as they finished with the fourth pick in the draft before they traded it to the Pelicans, which got traded to the Hawks. But still, the Lakers had the fourth pick at one point, so they are up next. I know they don't need to rebuild it that much, but hopefully we can get LeBron another championship. Next Madden rebuild out, I'm not totally sure what it is, but it probably will be the next video. So stay tuned for those both of those videos, guys, and I will see you in the next rebuild.